Hi there, it's Jay from Sparkle. In tutorial 1, we created our first scene and saved it. So now, we can open it again from our recent scribes here in the project screen. Let's preview it to see what we have so far. As you can see, by default, Video Scribe zooms in on each image when it is drawn, but you can change this by setting fixed camera positions. To set the camera, simply drag the canvas and position the screen how you want it. Then select all of the elements that you want in this camera position by holding down the control or command key and clicking on them in the timeline. Click this button to set the camera. So now all of the selected images will be drawn in that view. If you zoom out with your scroll wheel or using the controls here, you'll see just how much space you have to work with. The canvas is infinite, so you can lay your project out in all different directions and really get creative. To start a second scene, let's just zoom back in and move to a new space on the canvas by clicking and dragging in a blank space. Or if you prefer, you can use the arrow buttons. Just like with scene 1, we'll add and position new elements to build our scene. Let's start with some text. And now we will choose an image from our scenery folder. We can make this nice and big so it forms a background for our scene. Let's add a person. And some books. And position them so it looks like he is working on a school project. As well as drawing images onto the canvas, you can erase them again too. Let's remove the text at the top. To do that, just open the image library and search for blank out and choose a blank white image. You can resize this to cover the element that you want to be erased. We can even change the hand and pen for the animation of this element so that the hand rubs out the text with its finger or an eraser. Just open the properties from the blank out image and go to the drawing hand tab. From here, you can browse the hands library to find the one you want. Let's go for this eraser. So now when you preview it, the hand will erase the text. Once everything is arranged in the right place for the scene, select all the elements in that scene and set the camera again, just like for scene 1. Let's have a look at the whole scribe so far. So now you have your first scene and then the camera pans down and draws the second scene. That's great. Don't forget to save your changes. So that's scene creation sorted. In tutorial 3, we'll look at how to add voiceover and a soundtrack to our scribe. Thanks for watching.